Imagine that one day you wake up to find that your phone no longer works. You can't send a text message, you can't make a phone call. Now for some people that may be an indication that you simply haven't paid your phone bill, but for others, this is the canary in the coal mine, the first sign of an attack known as SIM swapping. If you've ever had to log into one of your accounts using text verification, you know, that process where they send you a text code and you have to type it in, you're gonna wanna watch this video all the way through. My name is Josh and this is All Things Secured, a channel where we break down what may feel like complex online security issues into easy to follow instructions and tutorials. And this week's video explaining a common attack known as SIM swapping is brought to you by Ifani. Now there are a number of different ways to deal with SIM swapping and other security issues related to your mobile carrier, but if this is a serious concern for you or your small business, consider this. Ifani is pretty much the only solution that can guarantee protection against SIM swaps, so much so that every plan comes with a $5 million insurance policy. Now, I'll explain more later in the video, but you can visit allthingssecure.com slash Ifani, that's E-F-A-N-I, to learn more. For now, let's discuss what this attack is, why it is a big deal, and the simple steps that you can take to avoid it. So what is SIM swapping? SIM swapping is a malicious attack targeting your mobile carrier that allows the attacker to gain control of your phone number in order to intercept any two-step authentication or verification codes that may be sent via SMS text. Well, that's a lot, so let me break this down why this is such a big deal. First, this attack can be done remotely, meaning that I could be here in Thailand and target AT&T in the US or Virgin in the UK. I don't have to steal or touch your phone in order to do a SIM swap. The second reason this is such a big deal is because this is really hard to detect. After an attack, it may take some time before you realize that you can't make a phone call anymore or you just aren't receiving text messages, like actual text messages, not just iMessages. The third reason this is such a big deal is because it's shockingly easy to do. In 2020, researchers at Princeton University published their test of five major US cell phone providers and found that out of 50 attempts to do a fake SIM swap, 39 of them were successful. That's almost an 80% success rate. Do you realize that? Most mobile phone carriers rely on low paid customer support employees to handle these kind of requests. So if I've been able to do a lot of research on you and I call up AT&T, for example, telling them that I've lost my phone and I need to switch my SIM card, they're gonna ask for different bits of information, including perhaps my phone address or my uh, physical address, my phone number, maybe my mother's maiden name, uh, date of birth and other personal info, depending on the carrier, it's all different. Some carriers require more information than others, but the bottom line is that if I can convince the customer service rep on the phone that I am you, they'll switch the phone number over to my phone. Or maybe I pay an insider to make the switch for me. The weakest link in this whole chain is the customer service rep. And since they're usually not highly trained nor well paid, they're an easy target. So that's what it is, but why should you care? Over the past few years, a number of high profile individuals have been victims of a SIM swap, including most famously the CEO of Twitter, Jack Dorsey, but the most common attacks happen to people like you and me, or they happen to small businesses, and these are the ones that don't get reported on much. You see, these text codes that companies send out to verify your identity are more common than you may realize. Your bank does it all the time. Uh, your email provider might do it, your investment accounts, it's basically a default authentication method for most online accounts. So if somebody gets access to your phone number, there is significant damage that can be done. They've gained access to your identity verification mechanism, and with that, they can request transfers, uh, they can take over your social media accounts, and other kinds of fraud. I'm gonna give you a number of simple ways that you can protect yourself against the damages of a SIM swap. Some of them might be obvious and others will likely be new to you. First, don't use SMS text two-factor authentication if you have a choice. If you're subscribed to this channel, you've already heard me say this many times. And if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button down there so that you can stay informed on basic security principles like this. Nowadays, we have a number of different options when it comes to identity verification or two-step verification, 2FA. This includes apps like Google Authenticator or Authy, which uses a mathematical algorithm to present you a six-digit passcode that changes every 30 seconds. Or you could pay a little bit more for a 2FA key that somebody would need to physically steal 
in order to use and log in as you. Either way, moving away from SMS text as a means of verification is a good idea. And this can be done with your email, with your social media, with your crypto exchange accounts, and with most investment accounts. Unfortunately, most banks still refuse to allow anything other than SMS text, so you're kind of stuck there. In that case, what are your options? Well, first, you can call into your mobile carrier and ask them what protections they've put in place. For many of them, you can set a PIN or a passcode that would need to be shared in order to make any changes to your SIM card. And even though that's not a foolproof protection, it is better than nothing. A lot of banks work with the carriers to monitor for SIM swaps, which is great, but again, you're just dealing with one isolated problem. If this is a serious concern for you, and that might be the case if you have a, a significant store of value in a crypto account secured by SMS text verification, uh, perhaps you're a small business who wants to make sure that an attack on one single employee does not grant access to an entire network or database, or, and this is an interesting one, if you want a little more privacy in relation to the personal data a mobile carrier has on you. That's where a solution like Ifani comes in. Now, as I said earlier, Ifani is sponsoring this video, and I wanna be very transparent about that with you. The solution doesn't work for everybody, but if the previous two tips didn't already give you confidence in a the solution, then I really like this as an option for US residents that it's worth you being aware of. You see, if your trust in the security and privacy of your mobile phone carrier is low, Ifani is a service that replaces your current phone plan. You can get a new number or you can port your phone number to their service, which operates on top of both AT&T and Verizon networks in the US, but then it adds another layer of security. They offer an 11 layer authentication process that pretty much eliminates any risk of SIM swaps. And because of that protection, you also get a $5 million insurance against any losses related to SIM swaps, which is something I don't think you could easily get on your own. But even more than that, I like the fact that Verizon and AT&T, they don't have my personal information. If I were to go into a store with my Afani phone plan and ask them about my phone number, their records would only show Afani as the customer and not me. And I also appreciate the transparent pricing without a contract and their 60 day money back guarantee. All that to say, whether you're a VIP, a crypto trader, government official, business executive, or just someone who really cares about their mobile privacy and security, it's worth checking out Ifani. Learn more about the world's most secure mobile phone service at allthingssecure.com slash Ifani. All right, a couple other ideas for those who wanna protect against SIM swapping. Uh, some carriers, not all though, allow you to set a PIN number for your SIM card, which could help. You'd find that other than network settings on your phone, but be careful because if you do it wrong, you can actually lock yourself out of your SIM card. My final thought is this, and this applies to more than just mobile phone security. Whenever you're asked for pieces of information used to verify your identity, so that's things like your mother's maiden name, uh, your favorite pet, your first car, those kinds of questions, don't tell the truth. You can either make something up, or if that just sounds too complicated to you, you could write the answer backwards. A big problem with this kind of authentication is that much of this information is easily available to those of us who know how and where to look for it, or information that could easily be bought online on the black market. So if the answer is not, in fact, the truth, impersonating becomes so much harder to accomplish. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and make sure you check out Ifani if you're watching this from the US. I have the links in the description below. I have another video about completely hiding your phone number that you might find interesting. Click here to watch that next.